Well, we, they all played us. Um, you know, they, they executed better on the offensive end of the floor. Uh, we won a few categories that I was hoping that we could win, especially the rebounding, but that uh, obviously wasn't good enough. They shot 60% from the floor. Um, some of it was we started pressing, but I thought overall they made better basketball plays when the, the game got going. And um, I think we got to improve in some different areas, obviously. Um, good team, and I thought um, I thought the kid Adams did a great job of controlling tempo, um, of kind of dominating the game. And, um, you know, 15 for 23 from the free throw line, 4 for 22 from the three, and they go, you know, 56% and 88%. That kind of tells it right there. Um, some numbers that I've seen before at different times, and I don't like the way they look. Derek, you challenged your team after Jaden was, was it frustrating to, to not get to, to not Get a little bit more. Yeah, well, yeah, I mean, frustrating because, um, you know, this is a game you want to win and kind of hold court at home. Um, I thought I was, I thought our effort and energy and intensity was a little better at different junctures, but as a whole, I thought for 40 minutes, um, they played better basketball on both ends of the floor. Um, so we can't can't do it for a certain amount of time. It's just not good enough in this league against the type of teams we're starting to play. The end of the, the end of the first half and the beginning of the second half kind of feel like that guys were kind of swimming upstream. Yeah, that was, that was um, where I thought the game was won for them. The uh, front of the rim bounce in for Adams to end the half, and then the 8-0 run to start the second half. It went from 5 to 13. Um, it wasn't really anything special that uh, they did. I thought they executed on side ball screen. Um, and we, um, we missed some shots. We didn't make some plays there. So that happens when uh, – I think that happens when they're playing a little better than you are. You had talked about – Wanting the guards to lock up more defensively. I mean, they shoot pretty much sixty percent all game, all game long. Are, are there things that does this stick out in your mind of, of of what they did, or is it just kind of one of those yeah, days? Yeah, our ball screen defense was terrible. Um, I thought we could do a better job of uh, pushing up and making the game harder on them. I thought we did a pretty good job at times on Posley, but then Adams goes five for seven, and the, the kid uh, Caputo goes uh, three for five and makes a couple big threes for him. Um, actually, threes at that juncture, I didn't mind so much because we needed the, the pace of the game to get moving. I just didn't want him to hit him, which he did. Um, and so, um, kind of a lot of different things that went well for them, and um, some things that didn't go so well for us. Tyler, this team hasn't been in this spot before. They're facing uh, this a little adversity, and what is the, what do you guys need to, to do to, to kind of get to get going again? Um, I think the most important thing is just to stay together. Um, just Every day in practice, just come back and just give 110% and uh, work on the things that we need to work on because I mean, we're capable of, of uh, improving and uh, we're capable of, of doing uh, good things this year and, um, and fixing the things that we're not good at right now. So I think that's the most important thing for us. DQ, was using Tyler tonight a uh, reward for the way he's played a matchup question or Rashawn struggling a little bit? Combination of everything. Um, you know, we've, we've struggled on some of our starts. I think Tyler's. More school than and what we're trying to do. Those guys are still coming along a little slower than I would like. Um, and then the matchups, the way they kind of played out, I went with a, a couple different lineups. And, and when they went small, it was hard for Rashawn and Malik to get out there. Those guys will play. Um, we got George Washington on Tuesday with a couple of legit big guys that they have to play. Um, but it's a good lesson for them also of um, you know the level that they need to play it up. They're going to be successful in this league. And, and are you still finding yourself in terms of when to? Assert yourself and where you fit, given given you've only played a few games. Uh, <clears throat> no, I'm actually I'm pretty comfortable with where I'm at, and you know, uh, you know, I feel like my my rhythm is there, my confidence there, but I do, you know, for this game, I know I take a lot of responsibility because you know my effort wasn't there. Me coming in and guys scoring seven straight on me, like it's just not supposed to happen, and um, you know, I just think for us to get better, like. People like me and our leaders like T-Berg and Trey, we all have to just step up. You know, I got to be more vocal and just assert more effort. But as far as feeling comfortable, I do. It's just I, I got some things I need to work on. Tyler, you scored pretty – I mean, it was like less than 30 seconds in the game. You had a couple nice dunks. seemed like you were being aggressive. Did you get a lift from first career start after 95 games? You, you get your, your name called out there in the starting lineup? Um, I mean, I think uh, the big thing for me is that I mean, we've been starting out slow. So, I mean, my, my mindset was just give energy, just do everything you're supposed to do, and, um, and just, just make sure that we get a good start. Uh, just, yeah. Derek, uh, Trey was obviously healthy enough to return, but did you notice any setbacks in him, or do you still think he was a, I mean, obviously he probably wasn't 100%, but do you think he was capable of 
doing the things you wanted him to do with that ankle? Yeah, well, I mean, he was two for 12, so I'm not sure. <laughs> um, you know, I, I'm not, I'm not certain. I, I thought he was, I thought he was okay. It wasn't one of his better performances. Um, you know, he attributed to the four for 20, two from three. I thought he had a couple open looks that may have gave us a little push there uh, at different junctures that didn't go in. Um, and when that happens, when they go down and make the same shot, then you know, kind of game's over as a coach. He's Trey in in for in for treatment on that. Yeah, I think is, he's getting something done to his foot today. You have to talk to Dave about that. Did Did you get the sense that it was just something that he could play through moving forward if he if he had? To, yeah, if, I think so. I mean, he had surgery on that same foot. Um, I'm not yeah. sure exactly when, and you know, he's done some stuff periodically forward into it. So that's where it's at. There, you talked about wanting Dante to be more aggressive. Is, is that was the way he was aggressive in the second half? Is that is it obviously didn't didn't put you over the top or anything? But is that what you were looking for from him? Did, did yeah, I think he's it? still um, I think he's still trying to understand what I mean when I tell him that because um, he does it at junctures. I, I want him to do it from like the jump from from the minute that ball goes up to the minute it ends to play the way he's capable of playing and doing some of those things. Um, but he's showing signs. I mean, I think he's showing signs of coming out and being one of those guys. Um, and hopefully that comes a little sooner than later. He's, you know, saw halfway through his sophomore year almost. So that's about the time that those guys, if you're going to be a next level guy, like, a, you know, a first, second, third team or whatever it might be, this is the time where people will decide. They'll, they'll start saying, is he one of those guys or not? Um, I think he's capable. Um, and I think he's capable of doing it on both ends of the floor. Mark Schmidt was asked about his shooting and all that, and he kind of shrugged it off and said, you win this league by playing defense. Is this a night that kind of illuminates that uh, on your guys' end of things? Well, yeah, I mean, I didn't know if their defense was totally responsible for four for 22 from three, but um, I think it had something to do with it. You're saying, should we have played better defense? That we yeah, yeah, uh, on your side. I mean, they shot at 59%, yeah. yeah, that would probably be nice. Anything else, guys? All right, thanks, Coach.